Hey, what's going on guys? Maldiva here, and today we're going to be going over the zoo spec for level 110 on Legion. Starting off in the first row, I personally prefer Shadow Flame. This spell is really, really good for just generating shards at the start of the game. Also, if you get kicked on fear, you can use this spell. Normally, I think most people use Shadowy Inspiration, but whenever I play it, it just feels kind of awkward in a way, and I just don't really enjoy the playstyle too much. So that's why I normally choose Shadow Flame. Also with Shadow Flame, it stacks up to three times. So if you time it correctly, you can get three stacks for a ton of damage. But the only the only downside of it is that it is dispellable. Next up, I am playing Improved Dreadstalkers just to get extra pets. So my artifact ability gets boosted. I would possibly switch this to Impending Doom. Only if, uh, I would say there's more than like four, four plus enemies on the team that I could dot with doom because then you'll keep up a, a decent amount of imps out when the dooms proc. The only bad thing though, if the enemy team dispels your doom, no imp. On the third tree, I pretty much never swap out of demon skin. The other two are just not worth it in my opinion. Demon skin is really really awesome going in throughout the whole game, a really sick absorb. For here, I don't really ever spec out of power trip either. Soul Harvest is pretty decent. I, I just like to eliminate cooldowns. And Power Trip just makes the gameplay feel so much more fluid. And Hand of Doom, that's just like a PvE talent. I wouldn't really play that in Arena. For here, I am always playing Dark Pact. Demonic Circle is nice, a very good escape. But playing Demonology with your de Demonic Empowerment, you can boost this Dark Pact shield up pretty hefty. And it's a really, really crazy defensive cooldown. For here, I just play Synergy in threes. I just like the consistency with Synergy, keeping up the 40% increased damage on me or my pet. It's it's up a lot, I would say. I know a lot of people are playing Service. I would probably play Service in twos for the extra damage that Felguard will boost your artifact abilities burst. But other than that, I just prefer Synergy. I don't have to worry about it. And then in the last tree, I always, always play Dark Lair if I'm playing the Zeus spec. This pet does a lot of damage. He will hit every target that's affected by your Doom. So if you spread Dooms, this guy is going to AoE the team down. Hardcore. So, must, must have. Alrighty, now looking at the PvP talents. Right now, I am playing Relentless. Just only because I'm an Orc. So I have the reduced stun reduction. And I pair that with Relentless. It's pretty, pretty sick. But if you if you are an orc, you can just play with a regular trinket. Or adaptation, it's kind of it's risky because you can't really control what it trinkets. So I I would always just play with the medallion if you're not an orc. For this tree, I sit mind quickness all the time. I cannot stand losing six percent haste. I think that's huge, 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 and nobody likes playing without haste. So I'm always, always picking that. For this tree, I. Stay spec in a Curse of Tongues because I like to put that on the healer a lot. It really annoys them when they're trying to heal up their team, increasing their spell casting. Weakness, if you're doing twos against double melee, I would pick this. Maybe in threes if you're struggling against melee two, you can put that on there to help your healer out or you if you're getting trained. Fragility, I would almost never use it. Too long of a cooldown, doesn't last too long. Unless you're going to kill in that window, I wouldn't really use it. It's better to have the utility over that. It's kind of more gimmicky. For here, Casting Circle, I would say, is the best for threes. Essence Strain is really sick in 1v1s, and two, uh, twos, I would play it just in case it comes down to a 1v2 or 1v1. This is going to help you win against most classes that are really, really hard for a Warlock. Nether Ward, if you're playing against, let's say, a Mage Lock, really, really good. They also can't interrupt you while you pop that, because it'll reflect it back at them. For this tree, I would never play anything except Call Fell Hunter. These other two just really suck. This one, you have to have a Succubus out for it to work. And this, you have to have an Imp out, which I, makes no sense to me. Why would you have those pets out if you're playing Demo? You're obviously going to have a Fell Guard. So, I play Call Fell Hunter. You do not need a Fell Hunter for this. It gives you a spell lock just like a Mage. And one of the best talents. For the last tree, I stay default for Fell Lord because in twos, I'm mostly always using the Fell Lord. This is a very, very insane pet. Awesome peel versus double melee. If they stand in it in his little AoE circle, they're going to take a ton of damage and get stunned for one second every time he attacks. Observer is good against, let's say, a double caster team. If they ignore this pet, it's going to destroy them. 
So that's the only time I would play that. And then Master Summoner, if I don't need the Felord or Observer, Master Summoner just makes, you know, it makes the gameplay more smooth. Instant Dreadstalkers, less casting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any comments, just leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.